Hey guys, I am hopping on here today to talk to you guys about Guillain-Barre syndrome. I'm going to start uploading more videos for you guys. Uh, my YouTube channel is actually my fastest growing social media platform in terms of followers and I really haven't done much with it and so that's one thing that I wanted to start doing for you guys is answering more questions and creating content for you and giving you information. So today I'm talking about GBS. Whether you are new to following me and you just never heard of it before and you want to know more about it, um, or you maybe you are newly diagnosed with it, or you have a family member that was recently diagnosed with it. So I'm going to answer that question of what is GBS. So GBS is an autoimmune disorder. You've probably heard of others, uh, lupus, MS, um, Crohn's disease, there's thousands. Um, and what an autoimmune disorder is, is where it's uh, your own body attacks itself. So in the case of GBS, your own body, your own immune system attacks the peripheral nerves in your body. And the peripheral nerves are everything or all the nerves that are not um, in your spine or in your brain. So it's everything kind of going out from there. So when GBS attacks the peripheral nerves, it causes weakness, pain, and paralysis. Now there are varying degrees of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Um, some people may have mild cases where um, it just affects their um, like tingles in their fingers and weakness in their legs and severe pain and they go to the hospital and uh, they get monitored and sometimes they're even home like within a week and then they have to do some physio and stuff like that. Other cases are very severe uh, and then everything in between. So some people like my case where I was um, ventilated in ICU, completely paralyzed within three days. So that's how fast it can happen. And that's how quickly it usually does happen. I mean, it's not a slow progressing disease. It comes on very quickly. In severe cases, you can spend weeks, months, years even in the hospital and I know that's scary but um, it just really depends on the person but that's what GBS is is that it comes on and it comes on very very fast and and it's just like this drop and then you plateau for a really long time and you don't see any improvement and then slowly you do and you slowly climb out and that climb is very long majority of GBS patients will need to do some sort of physio where they may even need to learn how to walk again. But with GBS, there is hope that you can get better and that you can recover. Not everybody recovers completely. About 30% of GBS survivors are left with residuals um, and left needing to use walking aids. So whether that be um, walking sticks or walkers, um, or wheelchairs and I'll do a different video on um, residuals and some of the things that we're left with um, but there is definite hope that you can get back to your life. GBS affects everybody. It's not just older males that get it although there is a very slight increase um, in the male um, older population that do get it um, but people of all ages get it. So I have seen children, I mean, I think the youngest I've seen was six months old, which is so heartbreaking. Um, but I've seen people from all ages, children, um, people that are 80, 90 years old get it. And of course, children bounce back quicker from it, generally, um, but not always. And that's also the case for older. Um, generally, it takes older people to kind of recover from it longer, but not always either. Um, age does not tell you what kind of recovery you're going to have. Um, so I have seen people that are like 85 years old be in ICU, um, n like near death and they recover completely. Everybody's case of GBS is unique to them. So it's impossible for doctors to predict kind of what's going to happen and, and what your outcome will be. Um, but the thing with GBS, like I said, that progression is that you do eventually get better. So you may not see it in that moment, but eventually you're going to start getting better and you're going to improve and it will take time. And time is the number one thing that is going to help you. 
It's not the medication. It is not the IVIG. It is not the plasmapheresis. It's time. That being said, the medication obviously for pain, um, that's gonna help you deal with the pain. And the IVIG and the plasmapheresis, there's studies that show that they uh, shorten the duration of GBS. So um, hopefully they will do something for you. You may not see it in that moment again. For me, I saw no progression. I saw no signs of improvement for six weeks. And I had the IVIG and I had the plasmapheresis immediately and within, the, within 24 hours. And we seen no improvements for six weeks. However, I recovered almost completely, pretty much, other than a few little residuals. Um, so whether that was the reason why I had such a good recovery is because I had both those treatments, I guess we will never know. But there are studies that show that they do lessen the course of it. So GBS affects about one to two out of every 100,000 people in a year. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot and it is classified as a rare disease. Um, but it just seems like if you, the more you talk about it and the more that you kind of say those words, Guillain-Barre, um, it seems that somebody, majority of people um, will have heard it, um, may have seen it, maybe even on the news or um, known somebody that had it and maybe they just don't even realize it. Um, you may have seen somebody on the street with it that is in a wheelchair um, that is either going through recovery or dealing with residuals. Um, so yeah, it is, it is rare, but it's really not that rare. So that is all I'm going to talk to you guys um, about GBS. It's a very complex disease. There is so much more to it, obviously. Um, if you want to know more, go visit my website. I have the GBS handbook on there and it goes into great detail about it and it was put out it was published uh, by the gbs foundation international so uh, visit my website and stay tuned for more videos and shoot me a message visit me on social media on facebook on instagram if you have questions and that you would like me to do videos on and you guys have a great day